All right, so some small business owners say that Obamacare could put them out of business, they're saying, and now they're going to take their case to a judge. Griff Jenkins reports. A fresh new legal challenge to Obamacare began in federal court this week as a group of business owners and individuals from states who opted out of creating a state exchange are fighting an IRS regulation which they believe is unlawful, financially damaging, and exposes them to massive employer and individual obligations. David Clemensic of West Virginia is one of the plaintiffs in the case who says he would be affected. I'm a sole proprietor in a in a retail shop in a very small community, population 385, I believe it is now. And uh, there's not a, a lot of customer base to grow for expansion. There's enough to maintain. I'm happy with where I am, but there's not enough to, to grow. And it's an it would be an added expense that would make me have to really evaluate whether to continue to do business or not. The plaintiffs argue that the plain text of the law limits subsidies to consumers in states that have created their own exchange, making it illegal for them to be offered through the federal exchange. Michael Cannon is the director of health policy studies at the Cato Institute. If the federal government establishes the exchange, those subsidies are not available, which means that those subsidies aren't there to trigger penalties against employers and those individuals. So what the Obama administration is doing is saying, no, we're going to offer those subsidies in the 34 states that have refused to establish an exchange. The law does not allow them to do that. But when they do that, if they get away with it, then those subsidies will trigger, those illegal subsidies will trigger illegal penalties against employers and individuals in those states. The government argues that the plaintiffs are misreading the law and taking a statute out of context. But that argument was not enough to stop a federal judge from allowing this suit from going forward. David, tell us why you suing the federal government. Now, the Affordable Health Care Act is, is making a negative impact on my business. It's making it really difficult to do business um, for a small entity like me. So I'm either going to have to alter the way I do business or go on some sort of a, a, a relief program. Let's face it, the government's broke. <laughs> they just don't have the money to keep doling out and bringing more and more people in. And I don't need the product. It's I, You would be paying for my health insurance. It's something that I don't even need. And uh, yeah, I do have a philosophical problem with that. If the judge rules in favor of the plaintiffs, what does it mean for Obamacare? If those subsidies are not available in the 34 states that have said no to an exchange, what that means is that consumers in those states will see the full cost of Obamacare. And that is what the Obama administration is afraid of. That with all the problems they've had so far, if consumers see the full cost of Obamacare in their premiums, there's going to be an even greater backlash against this law and Congress will reopen it. Interesting, right? Well, the judge says he will make a ruling on that case soon.